Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful divine feminines. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloved. We're going to take a peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the beautiful divine feminines. I just read the divine masculines reading. They had a beautiful reading. So let's see what the energy says for you, lovely ladies. I will you all are beautiful. I will you're enjoying your holy days. I will you had an amazing time with your family, friends, loved ones. I will you're in a good headspace. I will that you all are, you know, staying busy, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, honing your skills, gifts, and talents, staying out of the way. You know, it's a lot of intense energy going on this month as we've already. Um, pointed out in the beginning of the month I left that post telling you all to kind of lay low you know work on projects that you may have set up for yourselves um, you know just be more in that studious energy opposed to just being about you know just out and about all up in everybody else's face you know because this this month has been I don't even know how many mass shootings you know and I was picking up on that you know especially with this Mars retrograde energy that there was going to be some bloodshed because that's what Mars is it's known as the Lord of War so it's a very intense energy so I will that you all have been out of the way of any type of you know drama any negativity You've just been protecting your energy staying in the indoors um, everything is everything on my side of the planet I enjoyed my time and, um, you know, I took the day off today and I said, you know what, let me do a nice little reading for my beloveds. And so that's what I've been doing. Spirit was like, it's a go. So I was like, all right, bet. Let's do it. So we're going to delve in. We're going to do a general reading. If you are new, welcome to the Soul Tribe Soul Family. My name is Q. Our channel message is intuitively. I'm also Claire Audience. So you will hear music playing in the background. And the way that it works is the song, name of the song, um, lyrics within the song, even the timestamp of the song, name of the artist. It will correlate with what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what is coming out in the tarot cards. Right now we have Ray Charles and this is called Hit the Road, Jack. Um, so definitely y'all could be, you know, giving somebody two fingers like peace, be out, I'm out, get out, go, leave, you know, maybe you're telling somebody to get out of your house, maybe you're some, telling someone to get out of your life, um, maybe some of you all are planning like a road trip, um, you're taking the scenic route, maybe going to go through the mountains, uh, maybe some of you all are, um, you know, planning a trip with friends, you know, uh, whatever the case may be, you're hitting the road, maybe this past Holy Day, you know, uh, for those of you who celebrated Thanksgiving, you all were on the road traveling to go see family so you could break bread. Um, but that's just what I'm picking up, you know, a sense of like, you know, um, all of the aforementioned, it could be any of those, uh, Shay. So um, we are going to do some house cleaning and then we're going to proceed with the read. Uh, so welcome to each and every one of you beautiful souls. If you find that the messages resonate at the end of this reading, please hit the like button. Get the video into the algorithms. That's the way things work here in YouTube. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you will be notified whenever I upload. As I said, I don't upload um, frequently or daily like a lot of people I upload. Uh, readings when spirit encourages me to do so um, so just so you can be notified when that is hit that notification bell if you feel so inclined definitely hit the subscribe button become a member of the soul tribe soul family for any of you who are returning beloveds you already know what it is love is love is love so let's go ahead and do some house cleaning and then we will proceed with the read Ashe. so I call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light i call personally upon baba obatala mama oya and baba ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards help me to pick up on the energy number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards and so it is so mote it be 
Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have uh, the whispers, and this is called Rock Steady. So I feel, um, I feel like you all have definitely been okay. So I have a group of cards that just flipped over as I was doing the cut to my cards. Um, so these are all expounds. So what I was getting initially with Rock Steady, I feel like you've been really rocking things out. You know, if you've been busy. It's like you've been on a steady, you know, you've been like steadily um, working towards something. Like there's some sort of progress, you know, steadily progressing in an area. Or you've been rocking something out. Like you just, you, you're knocking something out the park, whatever it is you're working on. And you're doing this quietly. Like you're not being braggadocious about it. You're not even speaking about it. You're not uttering a word. Mum's the word. It's like you're privately working on mastering a craft, sharpening a skill, honing a skill. This is really about studentship, learning. So whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is that you may be studying, it's like you're knocking it out the park because you're dedicating a lot of time and energy um, to master that craft. So we have Compassion 9-9. Nine -nine. We have individual um, individuality 11. We have completion number 9. We have number 1, new beginnings. We have number 10, karmic completions. Uh, we have number 37, time out. We have 46, domestic harmony. We have 32, music. So these are all the cards that flipped over as I was um, cutting the deck. So what I'm seeing here automatically is the 9 and the 10 completion are together. 9-9 nine, nine and individuality flew out together. So this is showing me that the reason why you've had some sort of completion of a cycle is because you had to forgive someone. Compassion is about forgiveness. Compassion is also about not judging someone, yourself, or a situation. It's about understanding why something may have transpired. The 11 individuality is about independently standing on your square, standing up for what you believe in, standing your ground. Being independent is about self-sufficiency, it's about security, stability, knowing how to fend for yourself, how to take care of yourself. So in this situation, if there was codependency in any aspect, whether emotional codependency, financial codependency, this is what's led to completing some sort of karmic cycle or completing some sort of karmic lesson in which someone had to learn their independence is the foundation of their stability, security, happiness, and overall contentment. And so now there's this new beginning because they've taken the necessary time out. That time out was that moment of reflection, that moment of meditating to get things straight, that moment of grounding one's energy, that moment to heal, that moment to self-assess, self-discover, that moment to take internal self-audits. Now there is this sense of harmony, the sense of synergy, the sense of um, feeling balanced within the self because you've taken that time out to discover what your what your 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 creative or artistic expression is, who you are, how you define yourself. So this is beautiful. I love this. These cards falling out weren't coinky dinks at all. So let's. Bang Bang Boogie the card so we could get our message. And we have the dramatics. Um, and the name of this is called What You See Is What You Get. So, yeah, you're like, you know, you're going to you're gonna love me or leave me alone is what I'm picking up. You know, I'm, I'm not changing for anyone. I'm not trying to fit in. You know, I'm, 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 I'm being me. I'm standing up for what I believe in. So it's like what you see is what you get with you. It's like you are literally like you're, you're very forthcoming. You know, you don't put on facade. You don't put on, um, you know, you're not walking around uh, pretending. 
it's like you're just very very genuine very real and with the dramatics I feel like you know maybe in the past there was a lot of drama you know a lot of negativity and you put it to bed so what we have on the bottom of the deck overall energy is we have 19 pride so the pride the death of an ego is what I heard in my mind's eye so with the with the dramatics there was a lot of drama because someone was very egotistical you know this is like ego is like completely inflated but the beautiful thing is that it's at 19 which represents an ending 19 is is always endings so there's an end of someone's ego being super inflated it's the end of someone's ego causing them to do things in a very dramatic fashion or in a very dramatic way I feel here also on the bottom of the deck we have 93 happy ending 1111 was just on the clock so I do feel like if there was someone who was very proud you know I'm getting like a stubborn man I'm getting like someone who just you know um, kind of fighting something that they desire because with what you see is what you get I just feel like you know maybe somebody was um, it's like they weren't being uh, perhaps open you know maybe they were clammed up you know with what you see is what you get somebody was definitely very proud egotistical stubborn and now there's like this awakening now there's like this this uh, this clarity you know with this ego death and with this happy ending it's like that stubbornness is 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 put to bay this could be a masculine because we have number 19 and then we have the number 93 and so that one and the three reduces to four nine and nine always reduces to nine so there's there's perhaps there was a very egotistical man that caused a lot of drama in your life Maybe they didn't appreciate you, value you. They didn't, uh, um, you know, I just feel like they didn't appreciate you. They didn't see you for who you were. Because maybe they was putting on a facade. So let's tap in. Let's see. Who is um, this person our beautiful Scorpios are attracting? And we have Oshun. This is called Nourish. So definitely you you nourish someone. You, you're very nourishing, very... Um, it's like you you um, you feed someone's soul. You're like food to someone's soul. You're like soul food. I hear also nourish uh, nurturing. And Oshun is a very attractive um, divine feminine. The person you're attracting to you is this thirteen. It says effort. So you didn't feel nourished by someone because they was, number one, they was very egotistical, but they're having an ego death. So this person very well may surrender to you now, where in the past they were trying to resist, trying to fight it. There's a lot of challenges. There was a lot of stubbornness here. They didn't make the effort. Now they're seeing something for the first time because this effort card reduces to 13. That's four. They're realizing and discovering that you nourish them. You nourish their soul. Like I said, your soul food. Nourishment is food. It's water. So someone's lack of effort led to the demise of a connection. And it was because of someone's stubbornness, someone's ego being super inflated. And this is a divine masculine because we have 13, which reduces the four, which is associated with the emperor, the lord, the god, the authority figure. I feel like this time around, they're they're like they're in a very studious energy, like someone's maturing, someone's growing up. We got 19 and 13, that reduces to five. So this person is definitely like maturing now. They could be learning, they can be um, healing themselves, but they are absolutely like having some sort of epiphany and they understand why there was a demise of a relationship. There's red in both of these symbols here. 
and red deals with the root chakra. So that's the basement. You got to start from the root cause and work your way up to the crown, which deals with ascension and growth and elevating self-mastery. So someone definitely is dealing with their with their ish, you know. And I feel like also this person is realizing like, you know, you are, you know, they're super attracted to you. See that? What did I just say about surrender? They will surrender. They was fighting this. I feel like they was fighting this. They feel like you're also um, very guarded as well. Like you've set boundaries for them because of perhaps maybe their lack of effort in the past. This led to some major train change and transformation even to a startling metamorphosis. So how they feel about you is we have the number eight manifestation. So they definitely feel you are very powerful, very strong. You are a wish fulfillment as well. They feel a lot of emotional. Um, they feel very emotional about this as well. Like They feel love. This pink deals with the heart chakra. I feel like they're also mustering up the strength and the courage to come towards you. I feel like this person is also seeing you, as I said, as a wish fulfillment. It's like they're having some sort of epiphany with this bright yellow card effort. And then this number eight right next to it. It's like someone is now realizing they need to make the effort. It's like this person has watched you transform. You've turned your pain into power. You've turned your pain into a superpower. You're very solid. You know who you are. It's like this person really like could be trying to manifest you. Maybe they see you as a master manifester. But they definitely see you as strong, very powerful. You stand up for what you believe in. You stand your ground. You speak your truth. It's like this person has witnessed you like transform into someone who um, who knows their worth, who knows their value, knows what they bring to the table. You could have walked away from this person because of their inability to respect you. You know, as the divine feminine to respect you. Because remember, what you see is what you get. This person didn't value you. And with you is what you see is what you get. So they may have seen a lot of beautiful qualities. And with others, they could have definitely, um, they could have been duped or bamboozled. And we got Stevie Wonder singing, all I do is think about you. And we're about to pull a card for what's hidden in the energy. And then we have 41 self-discipline. So yeah, someone had to mature. Because this is that same, this is that same five. Remember the 19 and the 13 together, that's the five. The one and then the one and three, that's five. So someone definitely had to grow up. Whoever was mad, egotistical, even if this was you, if your ego was inflated, if you was out of control, gas. Like, you know, gas headed, just big headed, you know, super stubborn, super hard to, to, to read. It's like someone's now like definitely like maturing, growing up, working on themselves, healing themselves. And this is helping them to see things from a different vantage point. And with Stevie Wonder, you know, he's blind. So someone could have been like wearing, you know, rose colored glasses in a situation, you know, not paying attention to the red flags. You know, overcompensating when they should have walked away. And I feel like eventually there was that epiphany to walk away, stand your ground, stand in your power. And that's what they see with all I do is think about you now. The person you walked away from now is thinking of you. So your absence is really weighing heavy on this person, which is what's breaking them out of this pride, ego, stubborn game. To which they're going to, you know, submit, you know, to their desires, to what they to what they want and with this 41 self-discipline this is like someone really again like learning you know maybe they're seeking advice from you know a mother a father a maternal or paternal um figure an uncle that they you know that they really love you know that they really trust maybe even the auntie grandfather a grandmother even you know a pastor or a priest or you know a master teacher or a shaman 
you know, it's like someone is going to seek advice. And what it's doing is it's opening up their heart chakra. You know, this is green, it's all orange. So it's like they're, they're like learning, um, you know, uh, what love is, how to identify it. But I feel like also the fact that they're thinking about you so much, they're like you're constantly renting space in this person's mind. Because Stevie Wonder is singing, all I do is think about you. That's what he's saying in the lyrics. So this is what this person does is just think about you. And I feel like for a long time they was trying to fight it. That's why pride is here because they're trying to fight it. Trying to show this 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 far, this fake bravado um, attitude. You know, trying to act like I don't care. You know, I don't feel. I don't have a heart. I'm heartless. <laughs> you know, I'm a player for life. I'm pimping women or whatever this person was doing. It's like they had an ego death. That wasn't, that definitely wasn't um, who this person is at the core. Because what they found out is they have feelings, deeper feelings than they wanted to admit, deeper feelings than they wanted to let on. So they was only like, this is self-deception, like, you know, they was blinding themselves. They was putting a, a, a blindfold on themselves. It's like self-deception. And it was self-deception about how they felt about you. So what's hidden in the energy? May I have the message of love and light for my divine feminines? So we have 67 on the bottom of the deck, physical activity. So individuality flew out for what's hidden in the energy. And then we have 99, compassion. So those were the two cards that showed up and they showed up together. So that's what's very interesting, the 99, compassion and the 11. And then they flew out together. So what's hidden is someone is learning um, to stand independent of a situation so someone could be in a codependent relationship someone could have some codependencies addictions afflictions whatever the case someone is learning to be an independent individual like they're learning their independence is the foundation for the stability the security their overall happiness and we have a train going by So there's definitely distance. There's definitely um, travel required to see someone. And we have Dom Cherry. And this is called Om Shanti Om. He's a jazz artist. Love his music. So Om represents the sound that earth makes. It's like the vibration of earth. So this person could be finding um, finding the time to ground themselves. Yeah, they're definitely grounding themselves. They could be, as I said, like seeking um, wise counsel from like a, a uh, elder. This is helping them to see something clearly as well. You know, maybe this is even like giving them clarity on the fact that they're in a codependent relationship and they need to, you know, be independent of another person, stand perpendicular in their square, stand up for what they believe in. With physical activity, I feel like that same person, remember the 13 flew out for the person you're attracting, and then we got 67 physical activity. So it's like the person that didn't show any effort, show any interest, they will now be more, um, they will be more proactive in showing you um, how they truly feel and spirit is saying the outcome is you're going to be uh, very compassionate empathetic to this person I feel you both are like mirroring one another's energy as well because the 11 that's you know the the um, associated with the um, magi so I feel like you both have realized or discovered that you are you know the sole controller of your destiny you are the alchemist you are the magi and you could channel that energy to manifest your clear intentions into this physical reality and i feel like this could be what this person is doing and what you may be doing maybe manifesting one another back into each other's lives I also feel like there's some sort of new beginning that you all could be on the precipice of, perhaps even together coming into union, because that one and one reduces to 
you know, the, um, to two. So you both had to do some healing. It's just showing like there was absolutely like enormous change that you've both experienced separately, but also simultaneously. And it's led to this, this elevated perspective. And also to this new beginning. I feel there's going to be a lot of forgiveness here. A lot of communication as well. I feel like this divine masculine is going to, um, is going to show and prove. You know, they're going to show you how they feel. They're going to show you that they love you. On the split, we have the crown chakra and we have the number eight power. So trust your intuition. I definitely feel like you will be trusting your intuition when it comes to anyone returning. I feel like you have taken your power back. So you will not just fall for the okie doke. You will not just be, you know, manipulated. It's like you're seeing things for what they truly are. And you're receiving also like divine intervention and downloads. So it's like, you know, your higher self is kind of like guiding you, giving you those little nudges. Divine spirit of love and light, what messages you have for my divine feminines. May I have a message of love and a message of light. I do see changes coming. I feel like a lot of you all feel like you've been waiting for so long. It's been like a waiting game. And it's really because someone has been working on themselves. You know, healing is a process. You know, there's no time frame on it. So you just have to be, you know, that's why I always tell people you shouldn't be waiting on anyone to return. You should be working on you as well. You know, mastering yourself. All right. I feel good with that shuffle. So we're going to cut the deck. Thank you, spirit. May I have a message of love and light for my divine feminines. We have a message of love and light. And so we have me and you. And this is Monica. My spirit of love and light. And we have disruption. That's 16. This is this is the tower here. Wait. Oh yeah, this is the tower. So this 16 is the tower. And this is this is what disrupted the, the, the connection was someone was definitely like there was lies and secrets, you know, this person was also holding back. There was a lot of blocks, you know, there was a lot of blocks within this person. I feel like they were blocked, you know, and that's why that that um, root chakra was showing up the basement. You know, there was a lot of healing, whether it was childhood trauma, familial trauma, abandonment issues. You know, and with me plus you, remember with this individuality, I was saying how, you know, you're, you and this person, your energy are, is uh, mirroring one another whenever I see double numbers. So I feel like not only is the me being that person and then you, whoever's watching, you both had work to do. You both had to heal from whatever the root cause of the situation was. It was some healing that was required. And this was what was causing a lot of mental conflict, confusion as well. This is what's also led to someone walking away, moving away, moving on, because it was like someone was definitely um, invested, more so invested than the other. They felt like they was giving, giving, giving and wasn't getting anything in return. No one wants to give constantly and not receive, you know, and this caused a lot of disruption. But I feel like it's because this person was blocked, you know, when you're op operating out of ego and pride. Um, nothing positive comes out of that, you know, cause it's not, it's not genuine. So I feel like this was really like, you know, someone, um, deceiving themselves. It was self-imposed mental anguish. It was, it was, you know, they were creating their own boundaries and roadblocks, whether this is your energy or the person you was dealing with, you know, but I definitely feel like there's a lot of ego and pride and, and, and that's what came in between that, that connection, you know initially and so we have this intuition here see that and this is the number two so twos really you know someone was conflicted 
someone did not listen to their intuition. This is why they didn't make effort. You know, they was listening to perhaps their homeboys, the homegirls. You know, they was listening to those, those fake friends. But when it came to you and this person, they didn't make the effort. They didn't put forth any time, any energy towards cultivating or nurturing a relationship or cultivating even a, a deeper, more profound connection with you. They didn't plant any seeds, but now it's like they're having some sort of epiphany, you know? So it's very interesting. So let's tap in. So why is 13 here for the person our Divine Feminines is attracting to them? They have a message of love and light. I do feel they're listening to their intuition now because it's like there's, there's like a calling, a tug, uh, like a pull and a tug on their heartstring. And so we have truth. They're discovering the truth about how they feel. They can't deny it. They can't hide it any longer. You know, and it's, this person is, is standing on a scale. So they was definitely imbalanced. And so we have 13 and 20. And that reduces to six. So this is someone from your past. I feel this person is returning because they've discovered the truth about how they feel. That yellow in this number 13 card represents like the color of the sun, the clarity, illumination. It's like they've they've received some sort of clarity about something. This is the truth they feel. The truth they feel is that they love you. This is what they're coming to realize. And we have Bob Marley, she's gone. And then we got recognition and reward on the bottom of the deck, number three. So this person realizes that three, you, you were the reward. You know, they were blissed with you. They didn't recognize you until you were gone, according to Bob Marley. Because it says, she's gone. So this person discovered the truth of the matter, of who you were to them. You know, because you walked away. You said, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and take your verbal abuse or take emotional abuse from you. You know, the lack of reciprocity. I'm giving, giving, giving. You giving nothing. So this person realizes after you've already left because Bob Marley is playing She's Gone, um, you know, that you were the reward. They didn't recognize you. They didn't realize that you were the gift because they was in this ego. They were blocked. And so this number eight is showing wish fulfillment. This three is associated with the empress. So they didn't realize that you were the empress, that you were their divine counterpart, divine you know, their, their cosmic companion, their yin to their yang. They didn't realize that you were eight, the wish fulfillment. That you were the one. They didn't see that. Not initially. Like I always say, sometimes your absence and the train is going by again. That's why you moved away. That's why you created boundaries. That's why you blocked them out of your life. And now they feel this sense of discontent because you're gone because Bob Marley is saying she's gone so why is this eight manifestation card here there's definitely distance you've created distance you meant what you said when you chucked up the deuces and was out because remember we had um, who did we have playing um, hit the road jack so we had hit the road jack by Ray Charles in the very beginning and you have a car that just flew out so we have heart chakra here this person loves you this is what they realized when you was gone that they loved you and they was playing trying to play hard to get with this 19 pride and 13 effort 13 represents a death so their lack of effort their lack of attention their lack of showing interest is what led to the demise of the relationship but it also led to you walking away from it as well. And we have Rashad Jamal, and this is called Kundalini, Kundalini Energy. So Kundalini rising represents the snake going around the spinal cord. That's the same symbol, you know, doctors use, dentists, you know. So Kundalini is another way of saying that whatever was blocked, you know, whatever chakras this person had blocked because this is what I was picking up like with the disruption that's the tower um, something had to be destroyed so it could be rebuilt so with Kundalini rising that speaks to someone growing that speaks to the unblocking 
of the um, chakras that also speaks to this heart chakra opening up as well someone discovering feelings of love because they had to first learn to love themselves someone can't give you what they are not in possession of and so we have sacrifice so this is the card of and this is the number 12 so when you're sacrificing it's like you are in a hanged man position it's like spirit is putting you in a position to see things from a different vantage point perspective this person now sees you as the number 12, which reduces to three, the empress. How they feel about you is not only are you a wish fulfillment, but they also feel you're their twin flame. The yin to their yang, because this eight and this 12, which reduces to three, equals 11. So you're like that wish fulfillment. And with kundalini rising, you know, that's also um, when you engage in intimacy with your divine counterpart. When there is... Um, when there is the um, the act of of love making, it, it it creates that kundalini. That kundalini can rise. It's a very beautiful. Um, it's a very beautiful um, act when a divine counterpart gets with their mate and they engage in intimacy so this first this person is really like working hard to to um break through from these these blockages and so we have next new beginnings i can't make this up didn't i say that this 11 was the new beginnings because this is you and the person you're attracting to you you both had to go through, you know, that root chakra. You know, that's the, the ones are associated with the root. So the root is the root cause. That could be childhood trauma, familial trauma, parents, you know, issues you may have had with your, your mothers, your fathers, you know, your mamas, your babas, whatever you call them, mommy, papi, whatever it is. It's like you, you went and healed that. That's the first step. You got to heal that, unblock that. And once you do that, you then can rise just like Kundalini. So this is the new beginning on the precipice of a new start, seeing things with a whole new vantage point, closing the door in the past and opening up the door to your future. It's like entering into a whole new paradigm, a whole new dimension even. And this is a decision. And this decision is made because of love. The emotions that someone feels, the feelings, is, is what's led to some sort of new beginning. And so we have steel pulse, and this is called cry, cry, blood, steel pulse. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, oh wow, look at this, love begins just flew out and this is like the ace of one uh ace of cups part of me so this is what flew out for compassion so when you show compassion that's empathy that's you know really like not judging another person trusting in the process but steel pulse so the pulse is giving me like a heart you know the heart it it, it uh, pulsates it beats you know, your pulse is also how they could take your blood pressure. So it's like, it, and, and then cry, cry blood. I just feel like this is really um, a union. This is a coming together, you know, of a divine feminine and divine masculine. And if you look, this is like the very beginning of a love story here. And what did I say about someone being bored, bored without you? Because you've left. And this is a divine masculine because that four. And what they're discovering is they love you. So this person could be crying because it says cry, cry blood. They could be crying so much they bleed it. You know, that's, that's rather extreme. But it's like they're crying. You know, that's the word that's coming out. So someone is crying and crying. And it's because now they're, they have a pulse. You know, in the past, they could have been very, very blase about everything. Like, ah, whatever. 
you know, very, very hard headed, stubborn, you know, even in denial about how they feel. It's here. It's been coming out. What they feel about you is they love you. But this has been a situation which required patience because this person had a lot of growing to do. You know, I feel like this person had a lot of growing up to do. And I feel like you was very wise to trust your intuition and to not allow anyone to interfere with your peace. Because that's what you was working on, was your peace of mind, your peace. You know, and this person could have definitely like, um, you know, could have taken you for granted to some degree. And so because they didn't see your worth and value, you had to move on. You had to create boundaries. You had to walk away and you had to work on yourself and heal yourself so that you wouldn't become jaded. So I feel like with steel, I'm getting steel sharp and steel. So it's almost like that same dynamic between the divine masculine and the feminine. There's always teaching and learning. It's always happening at the same time. Someone's learning, someone's teaching. So let's let's get some additional messages and then we're going to wrap it up. And so look what we have here on the bottom of the deck. We have one main male. So there's definitely someone, as I said, who could have been very stubborn. And this is perhaps the type of male who's used to getting what they want. He's very dapper, very debonair, could be handsome. You know, he could also be very like um, a master manifester as well. Like the magician knows how to utilize the elements around him. Knows how to set intentions. On the split, we have number two. 20 house. This card came out in the um, Yang reading, in the Divine Masculine's reading, the house. So someone is entangled or involved in, um, you know, perhaps a situation um, where there's no pulse. You know, the house is just, you know, it's just really all about um, doing what's required to keep the house running, such as like paying the bills, but nobody like really is invested you know nobody's really invested in the relationship or nobody really is invested in making that house a home so both parties seem to be like just kind of like aloof so I have a card that just flew out and we have matured again. so look at that someone's been maturing someone's been growing and this is because there's been some sort of tower moment this tower moment led to someone maturing just as I've said that number five deals with like the hierophant so someone has been working on themselves. Someone has had some sort of grand epiphany. Maybe someone had a bit of karma. Bite them in the ass. It's 42, 42 on the clock. That's 6, 6, that's 12, that's 3. So maybe this is like, you know, them coming into, um, you know, awareness from a marriage. Maybe someone was tied to another person because we just had uh, 42, 42, which is 6. 6, which breaks down to 12, which breaks down to 3. And this is the number 3. So someone could be like separating or or going through some sort of divorce breaking up with someone maybe that's the reason why they couldn't um make the effort with you is because they were still tied to someone maybe someone was in a domestic partnership maybe someone was cohabitating coexisting um in the same home with another person they weren't being honest or transparent about it that's why they were making no effort with you that's why the effort was very minimal and we have Jill Scott cross my mind. And what she says is, you just run and cross my mind. You just run and cross my mind. So somebody's just constantly thinking of another person. So let's see, why is 13 effort and 20 truth here for my divine feminines? For the overall, I mean, for the person they're attracting. Thank you, spirit. So there's a gift here, 17. Someone realizes you were the gift. Someone realizes also they didn't offer you anything tangible, anything real. But they realize you're the wish fulfillment because that reduces to 17. I mean, 17 reduces to 8. So it's like a wish fulfillment. You're a star to them. You're like a wish fulfillment. I can't make this up. This is what they're coming to realize. This person from the past sees you as such. And that 8 and that um, 6 reduces to 14. 14 reduces to 5. So they will communicate. 
they will definitely communicate they will definitely say how they feel and look what's on the bottom of the deck when i said they will communicate and i just saw four 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 so angels ancestor spirit is conspiring behind the scene to bring this union into fruition and i say that because with the sacrifice position this is what spirit will put you in universe will put you in that hangman position uh so that you can see things from a completely different vantage point and so that you could see things um, from a different perspective. You know, maybe if you've been like, again, proud and egotistical, stubborn, it's like they will put you in that sacrificial position so that you could see something from someone else's vantage point. And this is when they're going to make the decision to speak up, speak out, say what's on their mind, you know, tell you that you run across their mind all the time, tell you that you're a wish fulfillment. But I feel like there's a secret admirer and they're going to send a message. They're going to extend um, some sort of message to you. Thank you, spirit. And so we have, look at this despair. They're in despair, you know, because you're gone. Remember, Bob Marley said she's gone. How they feel about you is they're in despair. They're heartbroken. And they're heartbroken because 32, 5, that's lack of communication. Don't know what to say. Don't know how to say it. Don't know how to formulate their words. Give me one moment. So, yeah, so this person is definitely in despair. And then we have this 21 family room. So someone is leaving. What's hidden is someone with the 21. That's typically the number of the world card. And this says family room. So I'm feeling like, you know, someone has learned something valuable in that family dynamic, in that domestic situation. And what they realize is they want a new start. They realize they need to become independent of this connection, independent of a relationship. Maybe it's been very codependent. Because I was picking up on codependency, especially with the individuality. That's about like your independence. And so for family room, they could have been residing with another person. Could have been in a relationship with another person. And now they're realizing that they want to be independent. They want to go out and, and venture out on their own. And this could be the start of that with this zero new beginning. So someone's walking away. Maybe they're planning and preparing a way to move on. Maybe even to travel, because that could speak to travel. We did have that train going by for like five minutes. So we have um, occupation. Some of you all could have met this person at your occupation, at your place of employment. This also has given me the sense of this person also uh, finalizing, you know, a chapter. Like it's completed. You know, someone is finally like, you know, they're reaping what they've sowed. Maybe they're working hard so that they can move, so that they can transition out of that house, so that they can have enough money saved up to move into their own. And we have Black Magic and Cambada featuring Loaded Lux. And this is called Goat. So this is definitely like somebody who's um, who could be leaving a situation where maybe there was some black magic or some magic being performed on them. Maybe they're seeing something. They had some sort of epiphany or some sort of um, aha moment because that light is right next to her head. Maybe someone was, um, someone could have been doing something to keep them stuck, you know, because I was getting codependency, you know, feeling like bound, stuck, obligated. But I also see them freeing themselves because this 11 and this 34 reduces to, to um, 9. So I do feel like someone's like moving away, moving on. And on the bottom of the deck, look at that. I can't make this up. The number nine change is here. And I was picking up on the 34 and the 11. And and that, that breaks down to nine. And then I look on the bottom of the deck and nine change. Someone's definitely moving. Someone's moving away. Someone's moving out of a situation. They're moving. They're, cha they're changing course of action. I just saw 48, 48 on the clock. So that's literally like four, 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 four. So spirit is definitely like assisting someone. They're giving someone the guidance that they need to move forward, to move on. And also to break free from some sort of black magic. And this is that person from the past because I saw 4848 and that's pretty much 1212, um, 12, which reduces to 33, three, which is 6. So this is the person from the past that you are attracting to you that's returning. 
This person could have chose someone else over you, gave you very little to work with, and you moved on because you got tired of feeling like you was playing yourself. But this this nine, someone's moving, someone's relocating, someone's packing it up. So why is this nine nine compassion and love begins? All right, so all of these cards flew out. I'm not taking all of these cards. Let me start over. My cards bang bang boogie. So why is nine nine compassion and love begins here? And then we're going to wrap it up. Why is nine nine compassion and love begins here for my divine feminines? We have a message of love and a message of light. Thank you, spirit. Wow. So you got the number 30 again. So this is someone that is literally like going through, I feel like a divorce. And with the one and the 30, that's four. This is the divine masculine that's coming in. I, f I see this person like proposing, getting engaged. I feel you two can become married. I definitely feel like there's a situation where someone is v being very strategic, strategizing and masterminding a plan to come towards you. So they may have to separate from someone else. They may have to separate from someone that they're in a domestic partner with or someone that they've been cohabitating with. Uh, but I do see a separation. I do see them learning lessons. And I do feel like this is a karmic that they are learning from. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the journey card. So they will be moving and making their way toward you. We also had the 25 high honor. So there is a victory, a breakthrough. There is some major... Um, change that's coming through um and this is someone that loves you because we have 25 and 30 um that reduces to 10 but then we also have this one here so this is 11 so this is that same person that is um you know looking at you as the divine counterpart this 11 is the other half of that 11 we saw earlier 11 11 uh so this is someone that definitely feels that you are their twin flame their soulmate um you are the one that got away and they look like they're coming they're ready to come in and have some sort of victory or breakthrough uh even through communicating with you i feel like they will be uh communicative i feel like this is a divine masculine that is working um you know working themselves out of a situation because of their love for you something that they've realized something that they've discovered they feel um right now we have nas and this is called once a man twice a child so perhaps that's what this person was going through, um, you know, going through that second childhood. Um, and it's been a journey. It's been it's been a process. But I feel like, you know, the dynamic between the divine feminine and masculine is one where you trigger one another. You activate one another um, in your process of healing, going through that startling metamorphosis. We saw a lot of the energy where you two were mirroring one another, uh, especially with the double numbers. And it's always really showing, you know. That you all are in, you know, vibrationally, energetically, you're on the same wavelength. Um, and you may just be taking different course of action to um, heal those that, 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 to heal that self. But it's like once a man, twice a child is just confirmation. Your person was very stubborn, egotistical, and they had to have some sort of ego death in order to see things uh, clearly in pertinence to uh, the relationship um you know that they were currently in or formerly in and the dynamic and chemistry and synergy that they may have felt they had with you um because you just was you were who you were what they saw with you is what they got you know and all of the drama that they could have been going through with their karmic um it wasn't it was it was like it was nothing like the connection they had with you. So maybe that's the epiphany that they're having. Uh, but they've definitely been maturing. They've definitely been growing. Um, and I do feel like they will eventually come and see you, come and visit you. Because um, we did have the trains going by several times. But um, this is your reading, Beautiful Souls. I will. The message has resonated. Uh, again, um, if you found that it did, be kind. Hit the like button, the share button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope the message has resonated for you. And my energy vibration, the way that I read, I hope that it resonated as well. Um, I don't post every day, so you might want to hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload. Um, if you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button, become a member of the Soul Tribe. And definitely to each and every one of you that are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. It's just an infinite love and light. Um, I will be, when I hit the 10,000 mark, um, I will absolutely be um, gifting three people uh, that have been 
you know, viewing the channel. I will be gifting you all uh, as a way of showing love um, and appreciation for your consistent support of my channel, even of my Etsy shop. Um, I will be giving away two readings. Um, it will be deep dives. It will be one for a masculine energy and a feminine energy. And then the third um, gift will be a choice of your own from my shop. And so, you know, that's what I'm looking to do when I hit that 10,000 mark. Um, I'm really humbled by, you know, the number of people that have tuned in and tapped in. Uh, I am not in no kind of race to get to any number. Um, I just want to acknowledge, you know, the soul tribe and soul family and just extend and pay it forward, you know, because you all show a lot of love. And those that show love, I like to rotate the love. Um, that's why I don't do none of the negative ignorant messages the back and forth i will not argue with anybody especially not a fool if a fool has enough time to come on my channel and complain about something i said in the reading i don't have time to argue with that fool i just delete their comment and keep it pushing because i like the energy to be like just fluid here so um i'm appreciative and humbled by even having uh you know nine thousand three hundred subs you know that's a beautiful beautiful um accomplishment i feel just having that many people tuning and tapping in and appreciating my um my gift the way that i interpret the readings and read so i'm appreciative i'm humbled um and you know i'm looking forward to continuing to grow the channel and also uh, incorporating some new things to the channel next year so I just want to say thank you all I appreciate you all I love you all uh, until next time I send a big fat I say yo to you until next time peace